In this demo, we're going to create an organizational unit or OU and put a client computer account in the OU. And then we're going to create a new group policy object or GPO and enable firewall the settings on that GPO and then finally test the firewall settings. So first of all, let's go ahead and create uh, an OU. So we have Active Directory computers, users and computers open and we right click on the domain contoso.com <coughs> and uh, choose new OU and here we just uh, give it a name call Vista clients click OK and we move an existing computer from the default computers container into the OU which we just created so let's move the LUN-CL1 client so we right click choose move and move it to the Vista clients OU so now we see the computer object <coughs> or the account in the Vista clients OU next we go ahead and create a new group policy object or GPU for this we need to open the group policy management console or GPMC so now I have GPMC open and I expand the forest contoso.com the domain <coughs> and then within the domain I, I see the uh, Vista clients OU I right click that and then choose to create a GPO in this domain and link it here and in the GPO name I provide uh, a name that <coughs> is easily recognizable so let's name it um, firewall settings for Vista clients let me click OK so now in the details pane we see <coughs> firewall settings for Vista clients and uh, now we can right click and edit this GP object or GPO so when we right click and edit that it opens the GPMC or GPM editor group policy management editor and here now we right click on the top node firewall settings for Vista clients choose properties and here we in the disable section we find two options uh, disable computer config settings and disable user config settings so here we're gonna choose to, uh, to disable user config settings and we get uh, a prompt that's saying that says disabling all a part or all of this group policy objects causes all of the policies it contains to be reversed from the client machine are you sure you want to do this so uh, we just click yes to that and then we click apply and OK now we expand the computer configuration and then policies Windows settings and then expand security settings and then you should find WFAS so Windows firewall with advanced security so expand that and expand the Windows firewall with advanced security the sub node underneath that with the LDAP name now this GUID here I'm just going to expand uh, this window so you can see now we see a GUID here uh, the one starting 648 and uh, ending with the BA1 so that's the GUID is a, that's a unique number assigned uh, to our domain so next uh, let's bring up the properties of that so right click that object and bring up the properties now we see three profiles here so domain profile private profile and public profile and each of these profile applies to connection settings that the user chooses when um, connecting to a specific network so let's choose the public profile and here we're going to change the firewall state from the default of not configured to on recommended and then click OK 
So this means that the change we have done here, once we, it, uh, we uh, make it uh, take effect, any client that gets this GPO pushed down to it should have the firewall, Windows firewall on by default in its public profile because that's the only profile we changed in the GPO. So let's switch to the client machine CL1 and here we're going to issue the GP update slash force command to force the GPO uh, settings to apply. So the GP update force command will uh, force both the user config and the computer config portions of the group policy to apply or to, to get updated. So it usually takes around a minute. So we find that both the user and computer policies were updated. Next, let's run the GP result slash r command. So it gives us the uh, resultant set of policy or RSOP and uh, we um, set the focus to be the computer object with the slash scope switch. So running this command will give us an output of all the group policies that were actually applied. So let's in the output let's search for applied group policy objects and we see that um, firewall settings for Vista clients actually has been applied, the policy that we created. So that's uh, confirmed. Now let's run the Windows Firewall Wizard now on the client machine. So we start that uh, by running the wf.msc command at the uh, <coughs> search combined search and run prompt. This opens the Windows Firewall with Advanced Security or WFAS console. And here we can see here that uh, in the public profile the Windows Firewall is on. And uh, let's also see whether the list control is disabled. So let's give it a moment here. So if I pull up the properties of the Windows Firewall top node and choose public profile I see that the list control here is disabled I cannot, it's grayed out, I can't uh, select it It's and that's because it's uh, being pushed down through group policy and it's not modifiable by the user on the other hand if I click on private profile the list control is user selectable and the same is the case with the domain profile where the list control for firewall state is user selectable but for public profile it's grayed out because of group policy.